Hello guys, thank you for stopping by my channel. Thank you. Today's video, I have some notes so I don't go too much off a of track, but today's video we're going to be talking about why do people ghost you? Why do people ghost you when you're dating them or when you're getting to know someone? What happens when someone just says, okay, I'm not going to call her anymore. Okay, I'm not going to talk to him anymore. What happens in that time? What's going on in that other person's mind? What is actually happening? Well, this is my little theory on this. This is, well, I tell you, it's not just my theory. It is what I felt like when I go someone. So maybe this is what they could be going through or possibly maybe thinking. I don't know when they ghost you. But anyway, let's let's go ahead and get started. I personally, I would ghost people when I didn't know how to explain I didn't want to talk to them. Maybe something they did during that dating process where I was like, okay, this isn't going where I want it to go or this is not the person that I thought I had met or, oh no, I don't like the way he talks. So instead of calling him and telling him I'm not liking this or this isn't going to work for me. I would just ghost. You know why I would ghost? I would ghost because it felt more comfortable for me and I felt like maybe it could bother him if I said that, you know, like, and when I say bother him, rejection is already something that people deal with with online dating and with dating period whether it's online or in person no one really wants to be rejected so you feel like if you just ease your way out and then go someone you can just go ahead and leave without confronting them and telling them what you think you don't really like in that person or you're not liking or you thought you were getting or it's basically an easy way out that you don't have to explain to a person. And I say an easy way out because I have a guy friend that told me, you know what, why don't you tell these guys this? Or why don't you and I would be like, I'm not telling him he's a grown man. He should already know he shouldn't be doing this. He shouldn't be doing that. I am not going to explain anything to him. Okay, nothing. But then Throughout my dating, I realized there are some things you do need to say to someone. That way, maybe they can correct it and maybe it is something correctable. I think if it's something you feel like you could deal with and work with a person, then yes, by all means, talk to the person. But this is the whole thing of this is why do people ghost people? And then another reason I think that people ghost people is because they could possibly be already dating someone else and they ghost you because they are talking to multiple people and it's hard to juggle. Did I talk to Susie yesterday? Did I talk to Johnny? Yes. You know, people who date so many people, they don't even know from moment to moment who they talking to, or it's not that they don't know who they talking to. A lot of times they don't remember what they said last to you. If they're multiple dating people, which sometimes you can call those people serial daters. If they are dating multiple people, he may have asked Susie when was her birthday yesterday, and then he turns around and he asks Susie again on Monday, and she'll be like, didn't you already ask me that? And though little things like that can give you clues that someone is actually a serial dater and they just like to date multiple people. And to be honest, it's okay to date multiple people. You have a choice whether you want to be exclusive and date one person when you're in the dating pool, or if you like to just date like four or five people at one time, that's your choice. But I think that if you are gonna be that type of person, you should make sure that you remember what you said to the last person so that you're not asking someone something over and over and they're like, dude, didn't you just ask me that the other day? <laughs> or you didn't already ask me that, or you told me that, or, you know, so yeah, just make sure if you're going to be that type of person that you can keep up with all the people that you are talking to. And also sometimes be honest with the person that you're talking to. Oh yeah, I'm talking to several people, you know, because we all have that choice, whether it's male or female, you have that choice to date multiple people if you choose to. So that is one reason people ghost is because they're just talking to so many people they kind of just forgot you and then what they'll do is they will come back to you like months later and they'll be like picking up where they left off and you're like and who are you and where did you get my number from 
that's me honey i'd be like and where did you get my number from and they'll be like oh we were talking blah 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 and i was like well, okay what happened because sometimes i don't even remember you know if you ghost me and i'll just delete your number and that's it and then you come back talk holding a conversation as if the conversation is continuing boo ain't nothing continuing if we didn't talk and you didn't show interest i'm done that's just me i you know so yeah that's what i'm saying so just know if you want to do that kind of stuff you got to be able to keep up with it otherwise it may not work for you and then another reason people ghost you is because and i only have three of these reasons another reason is because sometimes people are really not serious when they're dating some people regardless now i want you to know that regardless if they are 40 50 60 it doesn't matter some of these men out here that are 55 60 or acting like they're 20 and then some 20 year olds know how to act better than a 50 year old so it's not age it's maturity so sometimes men or women are not really serious and they're just out here having fun and that's okay but i think that if you are out here having fun you are out here enjoying yourself you're really not serious kind of let someone know i'm not really looking for a serious relationship i'm kind of just out here having fun you know you know just meeting people enjoying life you know maybe you just got a divorce and you don't want to get married you just want to talk to several people and just chill i'm not trying to get married boo i just got out of divorce you know that may be you so if that is you just be honest with people just tell people you know i just got out of a divorce or i just got out of a relationship or blah 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 just be honest that's all you have to be and then people know where to take the relationship sometimes you know people are just ghosting you because they're not even serious they're not even really looking for a relationship they just out here having fun and like i said nothing is wrong with having fun nothing wrong uh with dating multiple people nothing wrong with if you feel like this person isn't for you and you just want to disappear there's nothing wrong with any of this the only thing is try to be honest if you want to date multiple people if you just want to disappear and ghost people that's okay too because you have that right you don't have to explain yourself to everyone and you may not want to and then there's some things that may be uncomfortable because we're all adults and we should sometime if a man is doing certain things like in the past it's not recent but in the past i have gone on dates where some guys will they'll be talking about their ex they spend more time talking about what the ex did wrong things about the ex and you don't go on a new current date to do that type of stuff you should close that chapter before you start dating that way you start a fresh chapter and you're ready to meet someone and when you meet this woman or this man you are able to have a great conversation and ask questions and get to know that other person that other person didn't come to get to know your ex so there are things and, and i feel like you shouldn't have to tell someone that i shouldn't have to tell you you shouldn't come on a first date talking about your ex or you shouldn't come on a first date with all the drama of your life let me tell you this let me tell you that let me tell you you know some men feel like because i've gone on dates where some guys feel like they just want to tell you their whole life story in one in one dinner or one lunch and you're like dude i don't really want to know all that or that's too much for me or slow down so those have been reasons that I have ghost someone. So I hope this was helpful to you guys, you know, cause sometimes some people want to know, they take it personal, which if I were you, I would not take, take it too personal, but I would have kind of assessed myself and say, well, you know, what do you, what do you think, what went wrong or, you know, kind of look at things, but don't get too deep into it because you really don't know why that person ghost you. But if you're out here dating, just have fun. I would say just be honest, you know, with the other person. You, you don't have to just go into just great detail, but just be honest. If you're not really looking for a relationship, if you're not looking, you know, for something serious, just let that person know. That way that person can assess if they really want to continue talking to you. Okay. Alrighty guys, I hope that this was helpful and if you don't mind, if you like this type of content, please like, please share, and please subscribe. And then tell me, have you ever ghost someone? I know I have. I've ghosted many and plenty. <laughs> but, you know, have a conversation with me and tell me, have you done any ghosting in your dating life? Alrighty, thank you. You guys have an awesome day. Bye.